Look at that big mammal jamma, folks. So we've made it to the shooting range with my bow. I've got some Loctite for the screw on my cam module. We're gonna see what we can do about fixing that and hopefully that tightens the group up. If not, I've got some new arrows at home. I gotta take them into dicks or somewhere to have them cut and then I'm gonna put the inserts in and I'm gonna be getting the Ranch Fairy Test Kit and I'm gonna be looking into shooting a little bit of a heavier arrow. If these arrows happen to tighten up and work out for me, I'm just gonna shoot that for this season until I get my new bow, rock out the new bow with the new arrow set up for next year we'll see how it goes but if these arrows don't tighten up i'm gonna try to make it happen before season starts and get a new arrow set up going all right so let's see what we can make happen all right so the goal of what i'm trying to do here so i want to pull each screw out of this cam module and put a little bit of the blue loctite on the screw and put it right back in that's all i want to do shape roll for you All right, so this bow is incredibly adjustable and that's one of the main benefits to shooting this prism as a beginner bow hunter or archer. It's incredibly adjustable, so I was able to back it off from 55 pounds all the way down to like 10 pounds, I think it is. It's ridiculously low for beginners it can go down to. So I had to back it all the way down to that so I could get the cam module screws out of the bow. All right, guys, so this stuff is supposed to set in 10 minutes. We'll see how that works out. Now I'm going to turn this thing back up. Gonna get this glue to set gonna turn the bow back up we're gonna fling some arrows down target i'm hoping everything works out good and we can get out of here and go set up trail cam see you back in a minute So I've got my little GoPro on the ground over there, if you can see it. I'm gonna set my camera up here on the tripod at 20 yards. I let that glue dry for an extra 10 minutes. We're gonna fire off a couple arrows and see what happens. Hopefully those screws don't back out. The cam module stays tight and I can tighten up my groupings, get things a little more reliable. If the cam module stays tight and I can't tighten up my groupings while keeping good form, I'm just gonna switch out these arrows and get to something better. Okay, so at least my groupings have tightened up as you can see here. But when I'm aiming for the center of this target and I'm hitting down here, that's not where I want to be. But needless to say, the groupings have tightened up and I think my uh, fix on the bow should work. Okay, so I wasn't recording for that first grouping, but it did pretty good, it just wasn't on target. It was a little low and a little bit left. We're gonna work on form a little bit. Seems like the fix on the bow is working for now. We'll see if she comes out of tune again and we'll go from there. I'm still super new to this archery thing and bow hunting and hunting in general. It's difficult tuning a bow by myself. There's a lot of shots I might take that might be me and it's hard to correct my form. This, this is another reason why I record these videos. Some of it's for you guys and some of it's for me so I can go back and review these shots, look at my form, did I slap the trigger, did I tweak the bow? And it's also so I can post these things and you guys can help me out. There's been a bunch of good comments in the comment section of you guys helping me out over the years with fishing and hunting. And I really do appreciate it when it's constructive criticism criticism and you're not going out of your way to be it just a kill back now we're gonna go check these shots and see how well I did this time a little bit better a little bit better I'm aiming still at center point about the top of this rat's back if I can bring this shot up just a couple inches I'd be pretty dang good I'd be I'd be actually pretty dang satisfied with that this is 20 yards this is my 20 yard pin there's very few places where I'm going to be shooting more than 20 yards I'm new to archery I don't think I'm going to be taking 30 yard shots this is a 55 pound draw bow it's one of the slower bows out there so I'm not going to be taking super far away shots hopefully in the heat of the moment and the excitement I don't decide to do it but I can't say what I'll do in that situation because I've never been there some guys like to hunt when they practice they practice this has been over here already they practice with a pie plate and you know that's a pretty good that's pretty good for deer hunting right i mean for the most part that's pretty dang good for deer hunting at least that's the rule of thumb but i want to be a little bit better with mine it's 
still I still can feel it. It's a little down and to the left. I'm gonna have to do some more tweaking. I think we're definitely getting close. For shits and giggles, we're gonna go out to 30 yards, see where my pin's at. I haven't shot there in a while. Looked pretty good, felt pretty good, not terrible. Man, that arrow came off crooked. That's why I wanna get this high FOC arrow built. Okay, let's go check this grouping. All right, not too bad for 30 yards. That pin looks to be pretty good. Keep knocking my thumbtacks out, but that's a pretty decent grouping for 30 yards. That one felt a lot better. Two shots at 20, one shot at 25. It's me, guys. I'm pretty sure it's just me. I've got to shoot more with this thing. Make sure I'm working on form, not torquing the bow back and forth or tweaking the string in my release hand. Again, aiming for right here the whole time. That's not absolutely terrible at 20 and 25, but again, that's it's me. I don't think it's the bow. So we're actually gonna go shoot at this pie plate. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit this pie plate at 20, 30, and in between, get maybe six, nine shots total. Let's see, we'll see how it works out. Let's go. All right, guys, not terrible. Feeling pretty good about that. That's a dead deer right there. Got a guy coming to mow. That's not good for filming. All right, this might be it. This guy's coming to mow over here. It might be it for today. It is what it is, unfortunately. Let's go check out these groupings. This is a last shot, 20 yards. I could probably move this pin a little, just a little bit for height adjustment. I like it. Okay, so this guy's coming to mow. We're gonna pull our arrows, pick up our cameras, gather all our stuff, and we're gonna go set up this trail camera. Let's go. Bam. Okay. So I'm coming over to this field edge. Last year, I was over here and saw an absolute ton of brows down this weed line, and they're eating the one plant that I'm looking for. They're eating the same thing on the other side but there's a bunch of it like let me find some right here there's some right here some here some here you can tell they bit it off right there they're mowing down on this stuff so I want to come in here set up a trail camera and see what's moving through um, they're working this field edge and coming right in through here and I know that because these plants are being devoured all the way through and this trail is still staying fairly beaten down Looks like these deer are definitely heading this way. There's a bunch of brows right there. Wow, they're using it like crazy in here. So, might. There's an active coyote den right up in here. But those coyotes aren't eating this stuff, that's for sure. I haven't known coyotes to be vegetarians. The maple off of this is all eaten. These tiny little leaves, they're, they're munching them as they're coming by. There's some brows right there. I really think these deer are coming through. They'll work this edge and come out to the field edge, or they work the field edge Wow, that's a widow maker if I've ever seen one. Trail goes right through there, kind of begging you to take it. I'm not a big fan of the idea, but these deer are definitely taking it. I could see the brows already from over here. They're either coming in from this field edge or they're coming from this way. I'm not 100% sure, and that's why we're setting up the camera. Um, question is, ooh, I gotta go back to the truck and get my machete so I could chop some limbs down and not have any false triggers on this trail camera. All right, so just about anything I do in the outdoors cannot be done without this Ontario machete. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag wouldn't mind being sponsored. All right guys, I got a bunch of brows sign right in here. I've also right above, the, right in front of this log. It's kind of hard to tell in the leaves, but I've got two deer prints. Like they just took a quick hop over that log. Um, they definitely look like they're moving from this widow maker underneath and coming through here. A lot of brows all in this area. All brows, 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 brows. Heavy, heavy brows on all of these, this really soft green stemmed plant, whatever that is. They really, really like it. So I think I found a good tree. We're gonna set up this trail cam. We're gonna get out of here. This is a very open area. I wanna set it up a little more on the trail closer to the field, but there's a lot of smaller saplings and leaves and stuff that they're browsing on. But I don't want that to blow in the wind and cause false triggers on my camera. I didn't splurge too big on this one and get like a super nice memory card. So it's probably only it's probably only going to hold like a thousand pictures. And if the wind is blowing these saplings around, that might not be a lot of pictures at all. Also, I forgot to mention that unlike last time, this time I have preset all the settings on the trail camera. I got it hundred percent ready to go. All I got to do is throw it up there, turn it on and walk away. All right, guys, I got this trail camera set up. I don't want to push in here really heavily and spook anything that might be on a pretty 
solid pattern. Um, last time I did this and I set up on some light brow sign, it worked out pretty well for me. Got a handful of good deer on camera, which has never happened for me before. So first time using a trail camera, got deer on it. Second trail camera I'm setting up. Let's hope I get just as lucky. I got this trail camera set up on this tree right here. It's a nice wide tree kind of hide the profile of the camera. This particular camera's camo and not just OD green like the last one. This one is also 10 megapixels and not eight megapixels like the last one. Now I know how these megapixels work, probably two and then it's digitally enhanced, but that's okay. The pictures on the first one came out pretty dang good. So let's hope we get just as good a look on the second one. And let's turn this bad boy on and get out of here. I don't want to leave any more of my scent back here than I have to. We've definitely got some deer activity going on back here. So let's turn this camera on and see what we get. What was it? 10 second delay, probably gonna get a picture of myself on here, but I don't mind, okay? Smile for the camera. All right, we're all set. Now we're probably gonna get a couple pictures of myself. I have it on a five second trigger, so probably gonna get five, 10 pictures of myself standing here talking to the camera, but I don't mind that. It gives me a good frame of reference for when I left and when I set up the camera and how soon after that deer actually came in. I'm also looking to set up this trail camera so I can find out where and if any of my neighbors are coming in here. I got some bad news. We're gonna save it for the next hunting video. We gotta go over a game plan of what we wanted, how we wanna hunt this back here this year, and a couple other new state land prospects I talked to a park ranger about, and some other ideas we got. We got, we don't have a ton of time left in the season. We're always scouting last minute. It sucks, but I've focused most of the year on my fishing part of my channel, because that's pretty, that comes number one. That's, that's, that comes first. All right, guys, I couldn't be more excited for this upcoming season. I got the bow tuned up a little bit, still needs a little bit more work but I'm feeling a lot better about my situation we've got a trail new trail camera set up we've got another one set up I'm getting out there with my buddy tonight to come up with a game plan of the hunting season this year where we're gonna hunt and how and we got to come up go up to the hunting lease and do a little bit of work all right guys hopefully this hunting season is gonna pay off I'm doing a whole mess of work to try to make sure it does a lot more than I did last year and a lot more than I did my first year hunting the year before that we're on our quest after my first year so let and I'm gonna try to make it happen guys if you like this make sure you hit that subscribe button right there click that notification bell so youtube notifies you when i do a new video and if you want to see more videos like this one hit the playlist of fishing videos i got set up right here or click one of these two videos and i'll see you guys over there bam